We still don't have any uh, reliable figures for, for dead or injured, although, of course, we recognize that those numbers are likely to be extremely high. Um, our best estimate at the moment from satellite, figure, uh, satellite pictures is that at least 30% of the buildings in Port-au-Prince uh, have been uh, affected by the earthquake. There are some areas of the city, for example, City Soleil, which are relatively less affected, uh, either because of their geographical location uh, or because of the, the nature of the structures there, less vulnerable to earthquakes. But, of course, uh, the effects of the earthquake were extremely severe in some areas, and there are some areas where 50% or more of the buildings uh, have been damaged. Obviously, every humanitarian agency there is, both UN agencies, NGOs, the Red Cross and Red Crescent movement are, are busting a gut, if I can put it that way, to get uh, people there in, in larger numbers, people to help, and to get supplies in, uh, as well as, of course, all the bilateral uh, efforts which are, which are going on from individual countries led, uh, of course, by the, the huge US effort. Um, planes from um, the World Food Programme, UNICEF, the International Red Cross, the International Federation of the Red Cross, which is a, a separate thing, uh, have already landed and Médecins Sans Frontières have already landed. Uh, others are on the way. Uh, and of course, there are all the bilateral aid planes which have been landing too. Uh, you may have seen stories at the World Food Programme warehouses were looted in Port-au-Prince. They were not looted. In fact, that's not a, a correct story. Uh, we believe they are intact. There are some issues about access to them, not least because of some doubts about the structure uh, of them, uh, which is making people a little bit nervous about um, going inside, but they have not been looted as, as we were assured by the World Food Programme. Food is arriving um, in, in increasing quantities. Uh, water is arriving and water purification uh, equipment to, uh, is arriving from UNICEF, from Oxfam, um, from CARE and others as well as from the UN agencies. Um, I was told this morning that 13 truckloads of bottled water are on their way from the D Dominican Republic, for example. That's obviously, again, not going to be enough, but uh, supplies are beginning to uh, uh, arrive. Um, bodies are being collected um, systematically now um, uh, by Minusta and by the uh, government, insofar as they have capacity to do that. Uh, I think we had a figure of, I think it was 9,000 bodies so far have been collected. Um, uh, yesterday, um, so that gives you some idea of the, of the scale of that problem, but I hope that uh, much more progress will be made on that today. Mm -hmm.